Happy Star Wars Day, ladies and gentlemen. It is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yes, and I'd like to talk to you today about some of my favorite pieces in my personal Star Wars collection. As most of you know, I do like Star Wars just a little bit. I'd like to share with you what is probably one of the first official pieces of Star Wars merchandise ever released. It was put out in December of 1976, a full six months before the original film was in theaters. And it is the novelization of the original movie by George Lucas, ghostwritten by Alan Dean Foster. Alan Dean Foster, incidentally, wrote the novelization for Episode 7, The Force Awakens, most recently. And uh, this is a first printing paperback. So somewhere in some store in 1976, this was sitting on the shelf. I got it at a used bookstore about 15 years ago. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, something else I'd like to point out to you is another sentimental favorite of my collection. It's this guy right here, Boba Fett. Now, I know I've featured that figure in a previous video from the Man on the Scene series, but that is the first Star Wars figure I ever got, and that is still the original figure. That is the figure I got at Kmart on Clinton Highway so many, many years ago. Uh, I'd like to thank my friend Brian for helping me acquire most of these figures in recent years. And, uh, but this one here, that's mine from when I was just a young tyke. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to wish you a happy Star Wars Day. What are you going to do today? You're going to wear a Star Wars t-shirt, watch a Star Wars film, play a Star Wars video game, listen to Star Wars music in your car. I check all those boxes. So for me, it's kind of just a normal Wednesday. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Jared Talkstein, Man on the Scene Reporting. We'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you.